Red hot pokers or torch lilies as they're sometimes known are spectacular perennials for our summer garden. Botanically known as Nophophia, these are plants that have their origins in the Cape area of South Africa. Now obviously coming from South Africa, here's a plant that loves plenty of sun. They'll grow in a partially shaded site too, but you'll find that if they get too much shade, they'll grow fine, but they really won't flower very well. So get them out into as sunny a position as you can, and you'll find that they will definitely love that. The other nice thing about them too is that they're really wonderful plants for attracting in things like butterflies and pollinators and hummingbirds love to come to feed on these tubular flowers as well. If you live in a colder part of our region, say zone 5 or thereabouts, you might just be able to get these to survive in your garden too. And one of the tricks with that is that in the latter part of the fall, early part of the winter, to cover up the crown with a good thick layer of mulch. That acts as a kind of insulating layer and will perhaps help to get the crown through the winter time. In springtime, just peel back the mulch and trim off any of the remaining foliage and you should then be able to perhaps have that young growth come through. Certainly in zone 6 and warmer, you'll find that these will just love to grow in your garden and put on a spectacular show. And as you look at these bright, vibrant orange flowers, you can see what a striking accent plant this would make in a bed or a border. If you only have a small space, a short, compact growing variety like this one, which is called Poco Sunset, raised at Terranova Nurseries is one that will be a wonderful addition to those areas. It has a kind of architectural habit as you see with this grassy foliage that rises up from the base of a narrow clump and produces these spectacular pokers that stick up into the air. This particular variety is only about 18 inches to 2 foot high. Some of the old-fashioned, stronger-growing varieties can get to as much as seven or eight foot high, would you believe? Not this one. This one will be short and compact, and also, as you see from these plants, these young plants, also very free-flowering. And that's one of the things that we love about this particular selection, in that it is very free-flowering, pushing up these flower spikes from inside the clump, they start arriving in the early part of July, going through August and then into September, and sometimes even into the early part of the winter too. Now, whether you use this as a single plant in a bed or a border, that will be fine, but we'd suggest that you think about planting this in larger groupings too, threes, fives, sevens, and particularly if you have any flat areas where perhaps you have other low ground covering plants that could do with a bit of relief, a bit of interest, something that will push up out of that and provide that wonderful accent, vibrant color. This, of course, would be absolutely ideal in those areas. Also, it has this very rich tropical look to it. So it's an ideal plant for putting into rockeries and raised beds, perhaps putting around sitting out areas like patios and decks, maybe even somewhere like around a swimming pool, anywhere where you're going to be able to enjoy this very, very rich, vibrant color. You'll see that the flower spikes start out with a bright orange color and then as they begin to mature if you look to the bottom of each of the spikes you will see that it slowly changes to a yellow color and then gives you on the older flower spikes a lovely bicolor effect. And before I forget to mention it, one of the other great benefits of growing these nephophias or red hot pokers or torch lilies as they're sometimes known is that generally deer tend to leave them alone. You'll find that once they're planted and established they're remarkably drought tolerant. 
but you'll find that if you're able to keep plenty of moisture retentive material organic matter around the roots when you plant them that they will keep on flowering over a longer period you see in nature they like to have a soil that's free draining in the winter time they don't like to be wet and soggy but also one that's able to have consistently moist soil conditions and that's the key to keeping them going to keeping them producing new flower spikes during the rest of the summer. A spectacular variety that definitely merits planting in almost everybody's garden. This is Nofofia Poco Sunset.